June 2025, Israeli stealth fighters penetrated nearly a thousand miles into Iranian airspace, struck 20 military targets, and flew home without a scratch. Zero losses, zero detection until bombs hit their marks. While critics called the F-35 a billion-dollar mistake, Israel's F-35I, Adir, was rewriting the rules of modern air warfare in real time. Over 15,000 combat hours, thousands of sorties across five different war zones, the world's only stealth fighter that's actually proven itself when it counts. This is the untold story of how Israel transformed America's most controversial jet into the deadliest weapon in the Middle East. Israel didn't just buy F-35s off the shelf, they rebuilt them from the inside out. And what they created has changed everything we thought we knew about stealth combat. Here's how it all began. When Israel first looked at the F-35 program back in 2010, they had one goal in mind, Iran. The threat was clear. Iranian nuclear facilities buried deep underground, Russian air defense systems protecting every major target, over a thousand miles of hostile territory to cross. They needed a jet that could slip through undetected, strike with precision, and make it home alive. Israel wanted the F-22 Raptor, America's ultimate air superiority fighter. Washington said no. Export restrictions kept that bird firmly on American soil. So Israel turned to the F-35 with one condition. We're doing this our way. The Pentagon had never let any country modify the F-35's core systems. Israel changed that game. They convinced Washington to let them rip out the electronic warfare suite and replace it with their own technology. They added Israeli command and control systems. They created a plug-and-play architecture that could integrate their own weapons without breaking the stealth profile. The result? The F-35I Adir, which means Mighty One in Hebrew. Same airframe as the American F-35A, but with an Israeli brain and Israeli instincts. May 22, 2018. The Israeli Air Force made history with a single announcement. Major General Amakim Norkin confirmed what defense analysts had been whispering about for weeks. Israel had just become the first country in the world to use the F-35 in combat. The target was Syria, Iranian military infrastructure moving weapons through Syrian territory. Israeli F-35I slipped across the border, strike their targets, and vanish before Syrian air defenses even knew they were there. No drama, no close calls, just surgical precision. This was Israel sending a message. We can reach you whenever we want, and you... October 7th, 2023 changed everything for Israel. Hamas launched the deadliest attack on Israeli soil in decades. Over 1,200 killed, more than 200 taken hostage. Israel's response came swift and overwhelming, and the F-35I was right at the tip of that spear. From October 2023 through 2024, Israeli F-35Is flew thousands of combat sorties over Gaza. Dense urban combat, Hamas fighters hiding in buildings, schools, and hospitals, civilian populations packed into every square mile. The Adir's precision became crucial. Its sensor fusion system could track multiple targets simultaneously while identifying civilians and friendlies in real time. The jet became an airborne intelligence center, feeding targeting data to other Israeli aircraft and ground forces. If you believe precision matters more than raw firepower in modern combat, type yes in the comments below. In July 2024, an Israeli airstrike hit Al Mawasi, a designated safe zone, killing 90 people and injuring over 300. Reports confirmed an F-35 was involved. The incident sparked international outrage and renewed scrutiny of how Israel was using American-supplied aircraft. But the combat operations continued, and Israel was about to reveal something no other Air Force had ever done with the stealth fighter. March 2025, the Israeli Air Force dropped a bombshell announcement. Their F-35Is had been flying combat missions in what pilots call beast mode. They were the first in the world to do it operationally. Here's what that means. Normally, the F-35 carries all its weapons internally, four to six missiles or bombs tucked inside its belly to maintain that smooth, stealthy profile. Internal capacity, 5,700 pounds of ordnance. But when you don't need stealth because you've already destroyed the enemy's air defenses, you can bolt weapons onto the wings. Total payload jumps to 22,000 pounds. The jet transforms from a precision scalpel into a flying bomb truck.
Israel tested this configuration with their special F-35I testbed aircraft, the only testbed F-35 ever delivered to any Air Force outside the United States. Four external GBU-31 JDAM bombs, plus internal weapons. They certified it for combat, then used it for real in Gaza and Lebanon. But Gaza was practice. Everything Israel had built the idea to do came down to one mission, reach Iran. The distance from Israeli air bases to Iranian targets, over a thousand miles one way. Iranian air defenses, Russian S-300 and S-400 systems, some of the most advanced in the world. The standard F-35A has a combat radius of about 745 miles. Do the math.